Hi everyone, so today I'm recording my October favorites and I've kind of switched some things around in the room just a little bit. Well, actually where I'm recording it for today because I just wanted to just switch up some things and actually just record under natural light because where I record it, I don't use natural light. It's all artificial lighting. And the last video that I'm going to upload, maybe that one, one of the videos... It kind of looked a little green for some reason, so I'm not sure if it's something that's going on with the camera, which is why I'm under not natural lighting today, but I'm going to figure some things out. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into my October favorites with you guys, because I haven't done a favorites video in like forever. So I'm just going to sit down today and just talk to you guys about my October favorites. So starting off, I'm going to talk about some things that... Okay, I've been looking for a color corrector, and that's basically because I've been getting a lack of sleep here lately. And for some reason, I just wake up really early. It's kind of like when I was going through insomnia in high school, and I think it's back now for some reason, and that is just killing me because I get the dark circles and everything, and I really just, I hate it not being able to go back to sleep and not getting my full eight hours and also I'm not drinking water the way I should be so hopefully I'm gonna just drink water for the rest of this week and just see like what happens with my skin because I'm really worried about that guys because the darkness is not helping and then I've noticed a lot of wrinkling underneath my eyes as well and it's like what is it coming from and the only thing that I can think of that's different is now that I have insomnia so I've actually been changing up some things so I went out and I bought this Ruby Kisses. This is a 3D creator. And it looks like this. And basically what it is, is it's a concealer. And it's an amazing concealer, don't get me wrong. But the only thing I don't like about it is it's so emollient that it actually creases like crazy. So as you can see, one side is a little more orange toned, which is this side, than the other side. You can barely even tell the difference. But I have been using this under my eye. And while I do like the concealers and it does cover up the darkness and the grayness really well, it creases like crazy. So I have to like every couple of hours, I'm like in the bathroom, um, blotting and everything underneath the eye because it just looks crazy. But um, I do kind of like this. I, I like the orangeness in it for correcting. But as for... Um, the way it wears I'm not really thrilled with this and I have dry under eyes and this is still too emollient for me so I'm a little disappointed with this but I do like it because it, it, it does cover really well but I wish the formula wasn't as oily or as greasy as it is so the next thing I have that you guys obviously know I love and I've been wearing forever is my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. And this is in the shade NC42. And I do love this concealer and I will definitely go back to using it. It, it definitely, um, the NC42 for me, it's definitely a brightening concealer. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. But I do love this. Um, and it's just one that I prefer prefer to wear because it just really gives you nice coverage and it's just great for highlighting and it's pretty much like paint once you get it on it's on it's not going anywhere so that's something that I definitely love about this product and like I said it's an NC 42 then the next thing I have is the I Heart stage and this is by Essence and I believe I talked about this in a haul video. I'm not really sure but I really like this It's just a nice base and Just a little bit of this goes a long ways and I've had this bottle for quite a while now And to be honest with you guys, I don't even think I've put much of a dent in it So I'm really happy with this and I did buy a backup if you're wondering where you can get essence products from because I know someone had asked me before you can actually pick up essence products at Ulta and Ulta is the only place that I have seen carry these also if you're looking for your the Ruby Kisses I like I said guys I really like this the only thing that I'm not too thrilled about it with is how emollient it is so if you have extra dry skin maybe this is something that you would like but it does pretty well I just have to figure out how to use this but you can pick this up at your U beauty supply store just really any beauty supply store like a local beauty supply store would have that 
Okay, moving right along, I have been loving the CoverGirl Queen Flawless All Day Foundation, and the tube looks disgusting. This is one of these foundations that I cannot keep the tube clean for anything, but I'm in the color sand, and I really like this. Um, I've been using it now for quite a while. I've actually went through some of my other concealers, and I've been using this one, and I really do like this concealer. It's a foundation. I'm sorry, concealer. <laughs> it's a foundation. It's a concealer. It's a setting powder. It's all that in one, so you get all the benefits of it, and I really do like it. And now the sun is coming out a little bit, and it's giving me some kind of glare. There we go. So I really do enjoy this product. Okay, then the next thing I have been using to apply my makeup, I have been using the Beauty Blender. And I do love this sponge. It is a lifesaver. It applies concealer and everything like a dream. So if you have not tried this, if you have dupes, like I've had dupes for the Beauty Blender. I've used the Soho sponge. There is no dupe for this, guys. And I'm just being honest with you as I can. I know people said that they've gotten ones from um, TJ Maxx or they've found some at Ross or places like that. I don't think there's a dupe for this. I am in love with this sponge. It is the softest sponge. I felt the way it's made. It's like the machine just went around it and trimmed it so it would be perfect. Because um, you can kind of see the little ridges in it. So I really do like this sponge. Um, my favorite one, I don't think there is a comparison to it. I know a lot of people are saying that there is, but if you are looking for a sponge, um, I would try the Beauty Blender first to see if you like it, and I guarantee you will, because it just, it, it's wonderful. But um, once you get this, I don't think you'll look for a dupe for it. So absolutely loving this. And you can get those from Ulta, you can get them from Sephora, and I believe you can also get them from, I got mine from Amazon. So you can get them at a variety of different places like that. Okay, moving right along. Something from the drugstore. I actually have been loving the Rocket Mascara. This is by Maybelline, and I got the one in Waterproof, and I've been loving this one because I don't like for my mascara to transfer. And with some of the other mascaras that I've been using, I noticed that they were kind of trans transferring downward so I picked this up and I am in love with it then the next thing I have that I also got these from the beauty supply store too but these are the natural lashes and these are extra short but I do love these um, I have been wearing these a lot in the videos that I've been doing so if you my lashes look a little bit different to you guys I've probably been wearing these and I, I do like these these are really nice and they're really really natural like you would not be able to tell the difference you could be right up on me and you would still not be able to tell the difference with the lashes okay so moving right along now I'm going into a little bit of higher end stuff so I'm going to talk to you about some wonderful shadows that I've discovered and you know I got to talk about MAC just a little bit and I'm also going to share one of my favorite candles with you guys so this is my MAC palette and if you look at it it's filling up it's finally getting to the point of where it's filling up now um, I did happen to purchase another palette which you guys have already seen in my beauty haul and I plan on getting more MAC shadows but right now I am totally and utterly in love with Makeup Geek shadows and I had the pleasure of actually ordering some of her shadows Marina's shadows from Makeup Geek and they are phenomenal the eye look that I have on today guys this is basically her shadows but I love it I just really blended the colors out really well but guys it is just so 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 pretty I just absolutely love her shadows. So guys, if you have a chance to pick up Makeup Geek shadows, I would definitely recommend them. They do fit into your MAC palettes because I just went ahead and placed them in here. However, you do need to get like a magnet strip. Um, if you have one of the Z palettes, of course it will go in there because it's in the little metal pans. But with these new MAC palettes, you have to have a little... Um, magnetic strip so I'm just going to show you some of the colors that I have because I'm not going to remember the names of all of them but this first one I have is shimmer shimmer which is a beautiful color these colors are so pigmented and the color payoff is absolutely amazing beautiful color um 
let's see what this one is. I want to say I have one in Moon Moon Dusk. This might be the brown one that I have on today. No, it's brown sugar. I have on brown sugar today. Um, this is the one right here. This one is Moon Dusk. Um, so her shadows are beautiful. Look at that. That's Moon Dusk. And then the other one I have is brown sugar. Look at that. Beautiful shadows. Um, and then um, I have this one in here too. I think this is a latte. And then I have latte, which is just a beautiful um, blend in color. Pretty close to my skin. Whoops, got corrupt on there. But this one is latte right here. And that's pretty close to my skin complexion. And that is also another pretty color. Um, so the Makeup Geek shadows are absolutely amazing. I want to show you guys this Corrupt really quick. Um, and hopefully I don't get it on too much. Look at that. That's the Corrupt. That's her black. This is the blackest black I've seen, I think, in a long time. I'm going to just swatch it down here. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Not really any fallout that I've noticed with them. I absolutely love them. And I just went ahead and put them in my MAC palette. When I get more MAC shadows, more than likely I'll take them out and rearrange them and just give the Makeup Geek shadows a, um, a palette to themselves. But I absolutely love it, guys. Really pretty. I'm worried about this black. I'll just rub it on my black pants. We won't be able to tell the difference, right? <laughs> okay, moving right along. I have to talk about the Rihanna collection because, guys, I love so much stuff from her collection. But I went through and I picked out three things I limited myself. The first thing I absolutely love is the nude lipstick, which I've talked about this before. Beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one as well for you guys. So that's what that looks like. Really pretty. This one is more of a taupey red, almost like a brick kind of nude, which is really, really pretty. So I absolutely love that from the Rihanna collection. And then the next thing that I love is the diamonds um, cream highlighter. Um, I have a cream color base. This is really, really pretty. I have it on today, and that's what I highlight with, and it's absolutely beautiful. I do love this. Um, looks like that, and I'll swatch it at the top right here. So that's what that looks like. Really beautiful. And then I love the Hibiscus Kiss, and I was hoping that she was going to come out with another one of these for her the holiday collection but I don't think that she is but I wish that she was but I absolutely love this as you can see mine is very much loved um, this is my favorite color in the entire universe to contour with because it just leaves more like of a natural contour for me this is a natural contour color and the blush I actually have that on today as well you can go deeper with the shades you can go lighter with them but this was such a wonderful palette I wish I would have got a backup when I had the chance so absolutely love this as well. And then I have one more thing that is also, I think, um, a collection from MAC. But this is the um, lipstick, and this is an exclusive event. And I love this because unlike the other MAC lipsticks, this one actually has gold packaging. So it's black and gold, which is really pretty, I think, and really festive for holiday. And this, again, is another nude. Now, the reason why I swatched the nude from Rihanna's collection and this one is because these two are beautiful, beautiful colors. Of course, the Rihanna one is matte and this one is a satin but these two colors are amazing I absolutely love them um just really beautiful beautiful lip colors so I'm definitely loving those and I've been wearing them so much guys that I actually had to change up for this video <laughs> because I didn't want you guys to keep seeing me in the exact same lip color for every single video so my favorite perfume this month has been the Michael Kors Hollywood. And I love Michael Kors. I love his bags. I love his perfumes. Like, I seriously, guys, think that he caters to me. Like, I do. I believe that he caters to me because I love so much of his stuff. And 
he is just a wonderful designer and I just love Michael Kors stuff I, I, I do I don't think there's ever been anything that I bought or purchased of his that was a disappointment to me but I absolutely love this perfume I tend to wear this on more of when I'm going out kind of perfumes um, but it's just nice it's, it's kind of subtle but it's very sexy kind of classic absolutely love this perfume if you get a chance to smell it guys definitely give it a whiff and tell me what you think and last but not least my favorite candle this month has been the vanilla cedar wood and I love this candle and it just while it doesn't really smell that much like fall it's just a nice perfumesy kind of scent that I absolutely love it's almost like it makes me I don't know it's kind of like, I don't know, I, I can't describe it. It just smells absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to read the bottom of it. It says, Cream and Vanilla Blend that captures the beauty of a dusting woodland snow. Features cedar wood and amber notes. It smells absolutely amazing, guys. So I would definitely pick this up. I think this one was the one that was 50% off. So go to Bath and Body Works and check it out or you can order it online. So anyway, guys, that's the video. This one was actually pretty long because I hadn't done a favorites video in so long for you guys. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and thumbs up if you would like to see my vanity tour. I know I've had some people to answer me about it and it's something I would like to do for you guys. But go ahead and thumbs up the video. And what are some of your favorite concealers that you guys like? Leave your comments down down below because I like I said I have dry under eyes and I'm looking for a really good concealer to go along with my MAC Pro long wear so don't forget leave those comments down below thank you guys so much for watching the video and as always I'll see you in the next one don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you haven't already bye